Hi, my name is Cyprian McFarland. I'm a recruiting specialist with College Prospects of America. I'm based out of Hamilton, Ontario. What do I do? I help student athletes in Ontario obtain U.S. athletic scholarships. So why College Prospects of America? Because we offer personalized service and unlimited guidance. Because our consultants are local here in Ontario, we have a better understanding of the challenges that Ontario residents face in terms of the recruiting process, in terms of the academic requirements, and also athletic requirements. And we hold your hand throughout the entire recruiting process. One mistake I see often from Ontario residents is the fact that they don't have an updated or an effective highlight video. In this day and age, I think it's very hard to get recruited, especially in a team sport, without any video. U.S. college coaches don't necessarily have large recruiting budgets or can't always get to Ontario to see athletes play live. So having an effective highlight video, you'll have something to send to those U.S. college coaches so they can evaluate your skills to see if you have the chance of potentially cracking their roster. And also by sending that video with an email will give them more incentive for them to come and see you play at, live at a showcase event. Another error I see Ontario residents making is not understanding the economic impact or the cost of education in America. If you're looking at going to an Ontario school, it perhaps could cost you between fifteen dollars and $20,000 per year to attend that school. To go to a public school in America, perhaps an average of $25,000 a year. To go to a private school, perhaps $40,000 to $50,000 U.S. per year. So you're looking at $200,000 over a four-year period to attend school in the U.S. Our American counterparts understand the cost of education and they're very savvy and very aggressive when it comes to going after athletic scholarships as they know that any amounts that they're able to get in terms of aid, athletic and academic, are going to bring down the full cost of that education over the four-year period. Ontario residents also need to understand the academic requirements uh, when it comes to attending school in the U.S. Here in Ontario, uh, for the most part, the universities are going to be looking at the grade 12 marks that are going to be submitted. For the U.S., they're starting to look at your grades starting in grade 9. Also, if you're looking at going NCAA, they're only going to recognize courses in the academic stream. So it's very important for Ontario residents to understand what the requirements are when it comes to being able to qualify academically to go to school in the U.S. Ontario residents need to understand exactly how showcasing works. Many Ontario residents go to showcase events hoping to be discovered, and unfortunately that isn't a very effective strategy. U.S. college coaches go to showcase events to take a look at players or see players live that they've already pre-identified, either by receiving an introductory email or by seeing a video. By going to a showcase event, that's an opportunity for that coach to see you play live. So there has to be more work that goes into the process in terms of contacting U.S. college coaches and hopefully sending them your video and giving them some incentive for them to show up at your field to see you play live at that showcase event. Many Ontario athletes also are depending on their coaches to do their recruiting for them, that their coach has a certain amount of contacts. However, the coach can't possibly do everything for you, and a lot of work needs to be done on your own, especially in terms of making contact with hundreds of college coaches to hopefully increase your chances of getting recruited. The college coach is going to look to perhaps get references from your club coach at some point during the recruiting process, but you can't necessarily depend on your college coach or your club coach. You must do a lot of the work yourself. From my standpoint, Ontario residents need to start the recruiting process as early as possible, hopefully in grade 8 or at least in grade 9, in terms of educating themselves about the recruiting process and understanding the academic and athletic requirements. Many Ontario residents unfortunately wait until grade 11 to get started with the recruiting process. And while our athletes might have the talent to necessarily play at the university level in the States, unfortunately in certain sports there isn't any money left as that money has already been allocated to athletes who have made contact with the coaches in grade 9 or grade 10. Many Ontario residents, when they think about athletic scholarships, they think about what I call our brand name or ESPN schools. 
the Notre Dame, Ohio State, Penn State, Michigan, Michigan States, and they target simply only those schools or feel as though that an athletic uh, scholarship is only worthy if it's to one of those ESPN schools. So they need to target or they need to understand that there are many more schools and many more opportunities out there for them to participate in athletics in the NCAA and they should target many more schools in order to increase their opportunities of getting recruited by U.S. college coaches.